Tonight, Salt Lake City Fire is investigating what caused two wildfires west of the airport near I-80 this afternoon that shut down the interstate, a railway, and also led to flight delays. Initially, Utah Highway Patrol said a transformer explosion started the wildland fire, but as News Special Star Steinbrecher explains, Rocky Mountain Power says that's not what happened. Lauren? Yeah, Debbie and Dan. So we could see the blaze had started near power lines across I-80 from where we are now. But Rocky Mountain Power saying tonight it was not a transformer. They are investigating what happened. But in the meantime, it caused quite a mess this afternoon. Smoke surrounds traffic on I-80, bringing everything to a standstill. We had extremely high winds, extremely low visibility when this fire came in. Salt Lake City Fire calls for more help in the dangerous conditions, rushing to stop a blaze south of the interstate near the airport, while quickly making sure to control this busy area. Combine two major highways and a railway and air traffic coming over the top, it's, it's a significant hazard. I-80 and Bangor are shut down in certain areas. So did the railway and the airport confirmed some flights were delayed. Then there was another discovery right in the fire's path. We were extremely concerned. We also had an encampment that was involved, and so um, we had uh, some, some civilians that we had to try to move out that way. So we had quite a few quite a few um, civilian hazards in addition to the fire and the wind didn't help anything. One person suffered smoke inhalation, they say. When all was said and done, the fire torched 200 acres. They're investigating the cause. So this call came in from uh, some callers from I-80. Um, they, they called in, there was, there was mention of a transformer, but we're not positive on that. Rocky Mountain Power confirms no transformer exploded, no fuses were blown either. The area experienced a power outage at the same time. RMP is investigating. If anything, the message here. You have to be so careful with any kind of outside fire, even if they're legal outside fires, like recreational fires, cooking fires. When we have these extra hot days and extra, the winds have been just really crazy this spring and summer, and I, I don't see that changing. And the heat is only going to get worse almost certainly. So the heat and the dry conditions. Yeah, and another example of that, this was not the only fire here this afternoon. In fact, within eyesight of here was another fire along 5600 West, 1100 South, popping up at the same time. Salt Lake City Fire now investigating the cause of that fire as well. Back to you guys. All right, Lauren, thank you. Hopefully this is not a sign of things to come. Troopers believe those.